ready? No! I said, are you ready? No! Well, too bad, because it's Pokecon 14 here, and I'm here with the finale of my shiny Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. In the last episode, we took on the fourth member of the Elite Four, Lucian, and in this episode, we're going to be taking on the champion. And I think I've saved. I'm pretty sure I have, but... Okay, here we are. This is it. Our final battle. This is what we worked for. We worked all this way just so we could end it. No. I don't know. This game's fun. I like it. And... I wasn't kidding about a long hallway. It could take up the entire screen. See, look at that. It's the entire hallway. Here we are. The champion of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Cynthia. Have you been keeping well? Thank you for my... Let me think of a voice for Cynthia. Thank you for Mount Coronet, I'm truly great. No, that isn't. Thank you for Mount Coronet, I'm truly great. No, thank you. No, I'll just read normally. Just kidding. Uh. Hmm. Thank you for Mount Coronet, I'm truly grateful. Together, you and your Pokemon overcame all the challenges you faced, however difficult. It means that you've triumphed over any personal weaknesses too. Mom, I'm recording. I'm recording. Thanks. Bye. The power you learned, I can feel it emanating from you. Well, that's enough talk. Let's get on with why you're here. As a Pokemon League champion, I accept your challenge. Prepare for one of the most awesome champion themes of entire Pokemon. Here we go. This is the final battle. Cynthia. She's the champion. She helped us in Eternity City. I think she did some other stuff, but here we go. <laughs> Okay, she starts with the spirit team of 61. Ghost Tark. Ghost Tark? Ghost Dark type, meaning it has no weaknesses whatsoever. It means Dark Pulse, Psychic, Silver Wind, and Embargo. I recommend. I'm, I think. I think your starters are ju just the best bet to deal with this thing. I'm just gonna get straight in with an Earthquake. I'll probably finish up with Wood Hammer because I do not expect this to, to take it out in one hit. I mean, it's kind of bulky, not the best thing in the world. Because, I mean, everyone knows that that's uh, Magikarp, duh. Triangle. How are you? Yeah. Okay, whatever. This thing's really slow. A Torterra level 51 outsped it. Yeah, it's slow. Uh, I don't know if I can take it out with a one hammer. Because, uh, I don't think I can. So let's go with a crunch. Because I don't think it could take me out with anything it throws at me either. Since Fling isn't actually that powerful. Ooh, defense fell. I can take it out with anything now. Congratulations, the Shell Bow restored 3 HP. That's so amazing. Well, I don't know why I'm sitting up my arms for this since my fingers are the only thing used. Oh no, please don't tell me you got a crit. Okay, good. It didn't. Well, let's take it out with a wood hammer. <laughs> well, okay, I got my energy levels up. I had my coffee this morning. Yeah, of course I had my coffee. I mean, what else would you think? <laughs> okay. Okay, at least I'm out of the red, so we won't even hear that. <laughs> Why am I referencing Bidoof? This is the final. Of course. Well, my Lombic, level 63, water type, and surf, ice beam, mirror coat, and aqua ring. I may want to switch out for this. Just kidding. I may actually really want to switch out for this. I'm not may wanting to. I do want to. My Lombic has amazing special defense, so it is really bulky. If you can take it out with physical attacks, but Torterra isn't exactly in the best shape to do that. Okay, my logic knows Mirror Coat, so. I don't think it would be a good idea to attack this thing with Thunder, and it's got good special defense, but it probably will do more damage than Thunder Fang, but I don't want to risk getting destroyed by uh, Mirror Coat, so Thunder Fang it is. Oh yeah, Mirror Coat, if you didn't know it, uh, it takes a special move, well, I think, and doubles its power back at you. Okay, good, I can take it out into it, so that's all I want. See, it used Mirror Coat. Let me just verify that with my handy dandy iPhone. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, counter special attack. Doubling damage. Whoa, damage. Countering the double damage. That did a lot. Hmm. Well, that's super effective. Two Pokemon down, and no Pokemon down on my side. Uh huh. You stink. You're only the champion, and you stink, of course. Gastrodon level 60, Water Ground type, and there's Muddy Water, Earthquake, Stone Edge, and Sludge Bomb. I do want to switch out to Torterra because it's four times effective, but it's at really low health. I can be taken out with probably any of the moves. Well, whatever. I have Hyper Potions for a reason, and if not. I bought plenty of revives, I should kind of use them. Hmm. <laughs> Cynthia is no pushover, really. She is tough. She also has full... Full, full restores, four full restores. Wow, I can't say numbers. Congratulations, I'm supposed to be good at math and I can't talk numbers. Well, here we go. Well, let's do this. Hyper potion ourselves up. Gain back 140 HP. Yeah, I said that first game, just put that out there. And let's see if that does 40 H 41 HP. Yeah, it did. That was a critical hit. Oh, wow. This guy's wrong is weaker than I thought. So because it's so weak, what hammer you to death? To death? Hello, you're gonna die, right? Please? Thank you? Goodbye. Woo! That... There goes that. Three Pokemon down, and no Pokemon down for me. And we both got all the four stores left, and I'm gonna recover a lot of HP from that shell bell. It, I think it uh, recovers one sixteenth. Wow, level sixty-two. One sixteenth of the HP that you did to the opponent. So it's good thing to have. The, oh, a uh, Garchomp, of course. This is her toughest Pokemon, a Garchomp, level sixty-six. Dragon Ground type moves: Dragon Rush, Earthquake, Brick Break, and Giga Impact. This thing is power. Times 12. To the triangle power. Oh, I don't mean to say power twice, but power like exponents. Like, third power, fourth power, twentieth power. Yeah. I'm starting out with Gigabolt here because like, Carter, don't be stupid and use an electric type against Garchomp ground type because you sound like that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I probably have nothing to do. It has all attacking moves. It'll kill me with any one of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and heal up my Torterra. I do have a strategy for this thing, kind of ish. Oh yeah, Brick Break, it, this is probably gonna kill, but Intim Intimidate helps a lot because you lower its attack. And Platinum, I kept switching between that my Luxray and my Star Raptor. So I had a bunch of Intimidates to get its attack down really low, then I just destroyed it. I don't know if one intimidates enough, but it's gonna have to do. Here we go, I got Bonsai back. Now, Leech Seed is gonna come into use, just in case this thing uh, gets too much hits off. I, this is gonna do a good amount of damage, even from an intimidated guard top. Whoa, that was a crit? Wow. My Torterra is stronger than I thought, seriously. This is impressive. But I'm going to try to get every Pokemon a little bit of use here in this battle, so... Torterra, you've done your thing. I'll go ahead and revive, because I'm not going to need Torterra anymore. Revive Luxray, because I may need him. Well, I don't know if I can, but... Oh, yeah, I guess I could probably get every Pokemon in. Hmm. Okay, that's doing nothing. Just... Nothing total, nothing. Torterra is really strong. 
So I'm gonna go ahead, no not run, switch back as cursor went over run and I do not really want to run. Switch back to Luxray for more intimidate because I do want to send out Floatrol and Blizzard it to death. Yes, Blizzard's a verb. I can Blizzard things. Get Blizzarded! And it's probably gonna use Earthquake. Wow, Brick Break spamming much? Garchomp has a Citrus Berry, so just like all the toughest Pokemon of all the Elite Four members. Oh wow! Critical hit again! Game, you're so nice. Well that well that's kind of making up for everything else, all the other critical hits that I've gotten, but whatever. I don't know. Here we go. Now Aquasail can blizzard if you dead. No, I did not mean to click on that. I've turned off my computer monitor and used my iPhone because for where the Pokemon moves and stuff, because it's less bright. Because the computer computer monitor is right behind the DS and like brightness to the max and it's really bright. That didn't even do half. From an earthquake, from a Garchomp. I could have probably put mine in if Aquacell somehow goes down. I don't exactly expect that to happen. Blizzard is four times effective this should KO. Critical hit, that doesn't exactly matter. Because I could take it out with another Blizzard anyway. Unless I'd miss, but you know what? I don't know, I'm feeling kind of guilty about all these critical hits, but it's not like I could do anything about it. Okay, you get over 3,000 experience from that Garchomp. That's a lot, and it. And if I could just practice the Elite Four, it'll be so much better than the way I did before. Hmm. So here we go. I think that said Roserade. Please tell me it said Roserade. If not, then uh, I'm in trouble. Okay, it said Roserade. <laughs> Level 60, Grass Poison type, Energy Ball, Sludge Bomb, Shadow Ball, and Extra Sensory. Hmm. Extra Sensory, I do kind of want to look out for since Roserade is really good special attack. It's not as good in speed or defense, but special defense is pretty good too. See, Extra Sensory. And if this does kill my Crobat, then I have... Hmm. I want to get every Pokemon in for use in this champion battle, but I mean, it's too easy. I didn't need to train. I could have fought them all like level. Wow. One Hikeo from Fly. Are you serious? Roserade's that weak? I didn't expect to do that much. Okay, Cynthia's uh, final Pokemon and my favorite Pokemon. Lucario, level 63. Steel fighting type moves. Aura Sphere, Dragon Pulse, Psychic, and Earthquake. This has been a really short battle compared to what I expected it to do. This is, I mean, easily a level 50. I'm taking on like every single Pokemon that's in the Elite Four, pretty much. Last Fire Blast, let's do it. Unless I get killed by Psychic, then that'll be a really big disgrace to my little pony. I mean, I should've started out with Guard Zombie, didn't give him that much use in the Let's Play. Please don't miss, please don't miss, okay. If this does kill, then I'll be happy, but if it doesn't, I'm also gonna be happy because I get to use Guard Zombie. Because I'm kind of out of Fire Blast. I mean, it, it might kill. Lucario's kind of bulky. Oh, didn't kill. Um, well, I did a lot. Just gonna go with the bounce. Just in case this doesn't kill, which I think it's going to, yeah. I mean, I get to use all the Pokemon, so that's good. I, I think everyone deserves to shine in this final battle, except my little pony kind of didn't do that very much. Um, she just, or he, or whatever, just died to a Lucario. Oh, whatever. The Ender's gonna take care of this. I never use Shadow Claw. Hmm. Oh well. Seriously, why isn't okay? This Lucario knows Dragon Pulse. I am a Dragon type. Why isn't it not using it? Oh whatever. Game set and match, Cynthia. I just beat Shiny Pokemon Domino Pearl. The first time it's ever been done. Well, I think someone's played through the entire game before using a Shiny Pokemon cheat, but 
not this well, and then they haven't recorded it and put it on YouTube. Player defeated champion Cynthia. Just a few moments ago, you were the most powerful challenger, and just now you became the most powerful of all the trainers. You are now newest champion. Okay, I totally forgot about the voice. Twenty-six thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. That was excellent. Truly an outstanding battle. You gave the support your Pokemon needed to maximize their power, and you. And you guided them with certainty to secure a victory. You have both passion and calculating coolness. Together, you and your Pokemon can overcome any challenge that may come your way. Especially the champion. Like, really easily. Those are the impressions I got from our battle. Of course, I just beat the champion without, like, breaking a sweat. I'm glad I got to take part in the crowning ascent as newest champion. Woohoo! It's me! Oh, wait, we get to take a lift? And not stairs? Yes! Technology for the win! And I don't have to fly or climb up a ladder to get there or something. Oh, whatever. Here we go. The champion room. The room for champions. That's why I'm here. You know, because I'm champion. The room ahead is a hall of fame. Oh, I just threw my phone at my propel bottle while sitting here. I should drink that. Rowan, it's the old guy. How'd you teleport here so fast? Pokemon, your last battle was splendid. Oh, hello, Professor Rowan. Hmm. A child I enlisted from a Pokedex project has come this far. It's only natural that I witness the child's crowning glory. Pokemon, I shouldn't call you a child anymore. You've grown into a real champion. I said that. Stupid. Professor, you still enjoy the enthusiasm kids bring to your research, don't you? Uh, I can't do something as voice. Pokemon, step this way, please. Professor Rowan, I need you over here as well. I can't do Cynthia's voice. I can never find out something. I probably sound so weird, like to my parents right now. But who cares? Nothing exactly changed. It's been a long while since I last entered this room. If your last time here is when I became champion. Oh, Cynthia was enlisted for the Pokédex project. I wonder how she did. I'm probably better. Pokémon, welcome to the Hall of Fame. Your names will be recorded for posterity here. What you were leaving are the memories of your adventure so far. It's time you record your names, you and your Pokemon. Remember, your Pokemon are partners that grew with you through many challenging battles. This machine will make a permanent record of your achievement. Now please, game, do not freeze on me during the champion scene because of the shiny code. In the action replay, that would be really bad. Oh, wow. Bonsai, level 52. Met at Lake Verde. Gigavolt. Level 50, met at Route 202. Mach 5, level 51, met at Orberg Mine. Oh, that's where I got it. Hmm, cool. Aquazel, level 51, met at Route 205. My Little Pony, met at Route 214. And the Ender, met in the end. I mean, way over cave. And together, me and my Pokemon are League Champions in the order that I got them to. Uh, I switch that around. I am cool like that. Torterra, Luxray, Crobat, Floatzel, Rapidash, and Garchomp. The awesomeness team of amazingly stuff. Saving. Don't turn off the power. I mean, I just beat the champion. Why exactly would I want to turn off the power? <sighs> well... Watch the clock tick, going round and round, round and round, Pokemon save the game. Well, the credit is also on the bottom screen. I'm going to try to record this right here. Pokemon Pearl credits. Not going to read this all, but yeah. I mean, I'm just saying my thoughts on the series. This is going to be in really bad quality, just so you guys know. Since, uh, well, the credit scene is, oh, let me... Find something here that I can... iPhone, you're being used. Well, I enjoy the series, pretty much every bit of it. This is my first ever Let's Play on YouTube. Yes, because I've done Let's Plays on other game video sites. Because there are so many of them out there. This credit scene isn't as cool as like the one in Emerald or something, but whatever. My thoughts on the series? I had fun doing it. It was my first series. It's been my most successful out of all of them. If you just look at the view counts, you'll see that really easily. I mean, this started about 
a little less than two years ago about it took so long to complete this game. I have slacked off. I think this is part... Uh, let's see if... I have no idea. Like 73 or something. I'm probably not going to need parts because this is kind of the end. I'll just say finale. But I don't really need to be talking about titles here. Hmm. But I mean, this is cool. A little credit scene here with all the Pokemon that I've seen, I think. Uh, I actually have no idea what this is, but... Hey, it's Azelf, and Grottle, and Torterra, and Luxio, and Gabite, and Yuxie. Yuxie! And Ponyta, and Luxray. Well, I... I don't know, there's not really much to say, besides there's a Gibble shadow right there. But, I mean, I had so much fun recording the series, it's definitely my favorite that I record. And I'm sure you guys have had fun watching this, because, I mean, I think it's been pretty good. I've been doing my best to entertain you in this series. But, you know. <coughs> Cough. Getting coughing in the credits. Oh, well. It's probably going to go up a long time after I finish this anyway, but... Or finish recording it, but... Be looking forward to a lot of black and white. I'll be doing most of that until I finish it, pretty much. Then I got another Let's Play already planned. I may do start that in, in the middle of Black and White whenever I get my MacBook. But, I mean, who knows when that's going to be. I mean, I did do a camcorder Let's Play. I think I made the quality as pretty much as good as I could get it for what I had to work with. I mean, there are probably some things that I didn't know about that I could use. Like in the beginning, oh geez, part 5 of this. It was my first time ever speeding up battles, and I accidentally sped up, like, like most of the route, and me talking, too. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm just stupid, a lot of times. <sighs> it's sad to see this end, but, oh, I am going to be doing bonus episodes for this game. Uh, I have a few things in mind already. I'm not going to be covering the entire after game, because if you look in the map, there's a whole area up here. But I am going to be covering quite a few things, but not much up here. I'm not going to be doing that much, but still. It's sad to see the series go. I'm going to miss recording it. But there are always archives here over the years that it took me to record this anyway. I can always come back and watch it. And that... Oh, my thank yous. Yeah. First, of, first off, I'd like to thank me for recording and editing and uploading and commentarying and game playing. Yeah, those are verbs. I'm creating so many new verbs here. Well, not creating them. I'm telling you that these words are verbs that you didn't know. Hmm. But I also like to thank uh, Serebi.net for all the information. If you're actually, wa if some admin or mod or creator of Serebi is watching this, which I can tell you that there's a zero percent chance that they actually are. I'd like to thank you for your awesome site. Hmm. Hey, oh, it's the city. I just see that. So lots of buildings. Oh, oh, ooh. Finn. Hmm. I also like to thank Matthew for guest starring once. Or twice or a few times. Just everyone that supported me through the series. And I'd like to thank you, the fans. You if I didn't have any fans, then what's the point of making videos? But apparently you guys have put up with me and my crazy stuff. And you are here to watch this series. So I thank you for that. Once again we see the intro scene of Pokemon Pearl. And for the last time during the main story of this game, I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the bonus episode, but, which is probably going to be black and white first, but I'll see you guys in some bonus episodes, because the series is not ending yet. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye. And stay triangle. No, don't stay triangle. I won't exactly like you for that. See you guys next time. On black screen of creepiness. Just kidding, that's my hand on the screen. It could be black screen of creepiness, all I have to do- Ooh, it's the intro scene playing. Hmm. Oh, whatever, I don't really need to show this. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. I always extend the outros, but whatever. <coughs> On that note of me coughing, I think I should stop recording, but... Pokemon. Thanks for watching the series of Pokemon- of shiny Pokemon Diamond and Pearl.
Stay awesome. Thank you, the fans, and I don't know. I'm extending this outro way too long. See you later, hopefully. Oh, and if you guys are just watching me for this series, come on, I have some other series. Black and white, still Pokemon. Watch that, Mario Kart Wii, those are always entertaining. This is Mario Bros. Wii. That should be returning when I get my MacBook, as well as my new light display. Well, that's not returning, but whatever. But they should both be going when I get my MacBook. So, look out for those. Be ready, because Pokemon 14 is coming to a computer near you. And a bunch of them that are kind of far away, too. See you guys triangle.